Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to start a new project. Now after learning the basics of 3D with their tutorials, I believe I am ready for something a bit more challenging. In this video we will set the base to model the University of Greenwich in London, which as you might imagine is quite popular due to its architecture. Although it might seem complicated at first, I think it's going to be a much faster procedure using 3D instead of any other software. Now the aim of this project is to create the four main buildings, taking into consideration that they are twins. Um, today we will start with the most significant ones, the ones that have the dome on the top. To do this, we will start in our input, specifying the different areas. I created new vertices, so we can be able to separate each section later on. We will also create labels for the column entrance, grand entrance and window walls, and then we will add them to the edges of our input. If you experience trouble adding a label to the wrong place, like me, you can just remove the label you are assigning in the menu of the right and select the area that you want without any label on. Using the tools provided by 3D, we will add a normalized node. As you can see, we are able to comment our code if we click on the bookmark icon on the top. This feature is really helpful when you are starting a bigger project like this one or collaborating with other people. In this set of videos, I will try to keep the code as organized as possible. Next, we will merge the faces, selecting the option on the same label, and we will create two renames. One that will rename the corners as corners and another one that will rename the center as patio. These two nodes will be merged as well. We are going to add a comment to the code and also just remember to add extra input nodes when necessary as it will be easier to disconnect them afterwards. Next, we are going to create four renames, which method will be faces by condition and the condition will be by opposite. In the first one, we will rename all the faces with the label corner to column entrance when the edge east is opposite to the face labeled column entrance. Then for the next rename, you could just duplicate the previous node and change east for west. We'll also comment the code as this section will allow us to join the corners. In the next two renames, we will rename the faces labeled corners to window wall when the edge east is opposite to a face window wall and when the edge west is opposite to a face called window wall. As you can see, our corners are now renamed as they should be, but they are still separate faces, therefore we still need to merge them. I would also like to mention the importance of keeping your code tidy, not only if you're working with other people, but even for yourself, as it is much easier to find the issues and to understand what is going on. In future videos, we will be adding columns, so we will rename the edges to leave it ready. We will create a rename which method will be edges by condition and the condition will be by opposite. We will rename all edges to south when opposite to a face labeled patio as long as it belongs to a face labeled column entrance. Right after this, we will create a select which will allow us to then place our functions where they need to go. From each of the outputs of the select, we will create an extrusion of a simple profile that was previously created, so we can visualize the main structure of our building. The 
throughout the next few videos, we are going to make our project even better by adding new things to it. We will also use functions that we've already made, as well as tools available in the software. All of this is possible because of the procedural modeling software that we are using. 3D helps us to easily create and change parts of our project, making it easier for us to do interesting models and try out new ideas. Finally, we will create the base for our dome. Back to the beginning, we will create another select by amount with an output unit of 1 and a range of 3. We will create an inset of 1 and toggle an else node to rename the rest to invisible. Then we will create two extrude nodes, one of 7 and another one of 12 units. Due to 3D's non-destructive nature, we can modify our models on a much simpler manner than in any traditional 3D uh, modeling software. I connected the nodes the, to the wrong output, but I was just able to swap them as I needed. The base for our first building is now set. Please don't forget to download 3D's free version on their website. And thank you very much for watching this video.